If your YouTube channel homepage is not showing up in Google and YouTube search and keeping your community on your channel for longer, then this video is for you. Today I am dishing the secret sauce to maximizing your YouTube channel's homepage. We're going to cover the power of playlists that show up in search, channel trailers, featured videos, and I'm going to take you through step by step how to really set up your homepage so that by the end of this, it's gonna be a game changer for you. What's up, Asiani, your guide to authentic video. If you haven't yet, grab my starting on YouTube cheat sheet and let's dive in. So before you and I go ahead and optimize your YouTube channel homepage, it's first important to understand how do playlists actually even show up in Google and YouTube search? And that is through the power of very strategic single playlists. Now, before I show you how to create your single playlist, you need to come up with the topics that those playlists are going to be. And the topics should be your channel content pillars. If you don't have content pillars yet, no worries, let's go through them. When you think of content pillars, those should be the main topics that you talk about on your channel. I always ask my clients, who is your one ideal client avatar that you are trying to talk to, your ICA? Now, what are the common questions and problems that your ICA is having that you help to answer and solve for them? For me, my one ideal client avatar is an online coach who's a digital nomad or wanting to be and is ready to start a YouTube channel. And that's pretty specific and yours should be specific too. Now, you may not be a digital nomad or online coach, that's totally fine, that proves my point, right? That doesn't mean by niching down you're going to limit yourself and have others not wanna watch your channel, but it means you do create very specific content and you better pull in your target audience onto your channel. So once you have a clear understanding of your ICA and the problems that you help them with, then you can create your playlist. So for me, in line with my ICA, my content pillars are online coaching tips, YouTube tips, and then also digital nomad life. And you can see on my channel, I have all of those playlists. So I have my YouTube 101, my videos to scale your online coaching business, my travel vlogs for digital nomad life, and then I also have Canva tutorials. And I'm gonna show you in a second how to set this all up. But if you're a new YouTuber, honestly, I recommend just starting with one or two playlists. One is even great and try and get at least five to 10 videos in that first playlist before adding on more because if you confuse your audience as to what you offer, you will lose and you won't grow as fast. And I stole that if you confuse, you lose from Donald Miller. Love his books, would recommend. Now that you know what your content pillars and playlist topics are going to be, let's actually create highly optimized playlists that can show up in YouTube search. Now let's you and I create a playlist together. So you're going to head to your channel and you're going to go to your YouTube studio. Once you're in your YouTube studio, you'll hit the create button and then you're going to click new playlist. And then from here, you're going to add a playlist title. Now this is really important. We need to have long tail keywords in this title for it to show up in Google and YouTube search. Now, if this isn't your first time here, you know I talk about long tail keywords all the time. They are longer phrases that your ICA would actually search into Google or into YouTube. So how do we figure that out? Let's do it together. So let's go to my favorite plugin, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy I use literally every day for my channel, for my client's channel. You can try it for free by using the link up above and the description box down below. I'm going to hit the plugin TubeBuddy and we're gonna use the keyword explorer tool. And so I'm gonna just give an example. So let's say one of my clients, Rachel, she has an awesome channel where she does Pilates reformer workouts. So let's try that. Pilates reformer workouts. So let's say that's the playlist that I'm thinking I wanna have is where I share these Pilates reformer workouts. So I'll click that and hit the explore button and see what are some of the popular search phrases that come up. Now we can see here TubeBuddy gives us a low score because there's a lot of competition and there's not as much search volume. So we should probably get a little bit more specific. So I'm gonna look here at this related search phrases and see what else comes up. We have for beginners, advanced, intermediate. There's some good ideas here. Maybe I'll try beginners and see what comes up. All right, the score went up a lot. We can see there's a little bit higher search volume. There's a little less competition. So I could do, let's see if I, I can also kind of re reword this. Maybe I think if someone would type in beginner, that's how I would type it in, beginner Pilates reformer workout. Let's see what that does to the score. Ooh, the search volume went up, but the competition's a little bit more. I really like this. Let's see, beginners workouts at home. Let's try and make it a little bit more specific here. Ooh, okay, so after I did a little bit more playing around with some 
phrases that I think people would actually be searching in about Pilates workouts. I think I'm gonna go with at home Pilates reformer workouts because the score is pretty high and there's not as much competition. So I'm gonna go with this and I'm going to go back to my channel. I'm gonna make the playlist title at home Pilates reformer workouts reformer workouts and let's add some some emotional pull words on the back end to strength strengthen and tone your body and if you ever need to get ideas for what good adjectives you can add to your titles or playlists you can always just go and see what are the top ranking videos using for their descriptor words now for me i'm going to make this private just because it this i'm not actually going to use this playlist but let's hit then the create button now once the playlist is created it's really important that we go and we edit it so i'm going to go over here we'll go to i'm sorry content and then from content, you'll hit playlist. Now we can see the playlist that I just created and you're gonna hit this pencil tool. And we're going to want to add a description to this playlist and some videos that fit under this playlist as well. So I would highly recommend to keep the description of your playlist less than 180 characters. Don't add any links here because they will not hyperlink so they won't be clickable, but it can be really helpful to add keywords to the description. Why? Well, I'll show you an example here. So if I were to go to Google and I were to type in the name of one of my playlists, you'll see actually that my playlist shows up as one of the first things. Now we can see that the description that you use can be really helpful. You can see starting, YouTube, all are highlighted showing they are showing up as phrases in search as well. So it's important that we optimize things as much as possible, right? So don't forget to add that description. Now I'm going to click this pencil to add that description. And like I said, I recommend it to be under 180 characters or else it'll get cut off. I already wrote out a description and you can see this is only 116 characters and I've got easy to follow along Pilates workouts that will strengthen and tone your body in the comfort of your own home. And maybe we can add great for beginners and intermediate levels because we know that that's something that I found in Tubi that people were also searching up a lot. And then I will hit save. And then after that, I can add in videos. I can hit the three dots here and then click add videos. So once you've done this and you've actually created your playlist, and now it's time to set up a flow of your channel's homepage. And so let's talk a little bit about that flow. First thing, you wanna have a really strong YouTube channel banner, and I highly recommend checking out my channel banner video where I even give you the template to create one of these. So definitely give that a watch after this. And then you'll see you have a featured video. Now I get asked a lot, Danny, should I have a channel trailer for new people coming to my channel? And I would say, honestly, no. The truth is that nobody cares about you until you've helped them. And they don't really care about you telling them how you're gonna help them, they just wanna be helped by you. So in my opinion, it's better to put a video that's answering a really commonly asked question of your ICA as this featured video instead of a trailer. I created a trailer for my video and now I hate it. So usually we'll make them and then they have to be updated all the time. So it's just better, I think, to not. There's only one channel trailer that I've ever actually thought like, that was pretty good. And that's Louise Henry's, you can check hers out, but. Other than that, I just I just don't recommend it. I really recommend to help your audience give them that high value content and that's really what's gonna keep them coming back. So I might as well put that as a featured video. Then I recommend to have your most recent videos after that, people love to know that you're consistent. How often do you go to someone's channel and be like, oh, like, are they still active on here? When's their most recent video pushed out? I always do that. I would actually love to know if you do that too. Do other people do that? I do that. Why? Because we want to see if someone's still actively serving their audience, right? Consistency is something that we do care about, I think, as consumers of content. Then you want to have your playlist go in a flow. So if that flow is from like more beginner tips to advanced tips, you're going to have your single playlist lined out. And then I recommend at the end having your shorts. So that's the flow that I recommend taking people through. Let's actually go about and see how do you do this. So if you are in your channel, you can just click this button on your homepage, customize channel, or you can also go to customize from your YouTube studio. But if I hit this, it's going to take me into YouTube studio and channel customization. And you'll see here, customization right here. Now we have layout and that's the layout of your homepage. The first thing you can have is a channel trailer for people who 
haven't subscribed yet. And so for me, I make that be more of like a basic video that I know has been well received by my audience. And then for the featured video for returning subscribers, I do a little bit more of like an advanced video that's a little bit more higher level tips. So that's how I do it, but it's totally up to you how you want to do that. And sometimes I've just kept that video to be the same for both people who haven't and have subscribed. It doesn't necessarily have to be two different videos. Then after that, you have your featured sections. And so like I said, first I have my videos. So you'll come here and you'll click add section and you can put popular videos or you can see I already have just my, my regular videos. That's why it's, I can't click on it. So that's what I did first. And then after that, you want to go to single playlist. So let's say I'm gonna add a single playlist and you can see here I have all my playlists here that I can add in and so let's say I wanted to add in one of my old playlist teacherpreneur and then you can use these two buttons here and you can move your playlist around so I could move it to where I actually want it to be showing up on my home page now I don't want this to be showing up right now so I'm going to remove this section. Okay, but this is how you're going to add in your playlist. And then like I said, I recommend adding your shorts last. You can add in a section and then you can have your short videos. Now the last thing I want to mention is adding in a featured channel. Now this is something that you can do if you have other channels that you'd like to recommend that are in your same niche or you have maybe a separate channel in a different language. You can go and click featured channels and then that's how if you've seen creators where they recommend their other channels that up on their homepage, that's how they do it is they click featured channels. So if I were to add section and hit featured channel, you can see I can add the section title like follow my vlogs here and then I could add that channel link in there. I don't necessarily recommend having a featured channel just because I think it's better to keep people on your channel binging your content, but maybe if you don't have a lot of videos yet and you're wanting to cross promote or have people relate you with similar creators in that niche, then it could be a good idea. Now you've set up a beautiful homepage. I hope that this was so helpful for you. And if it was, it's so helpful for me. If you can give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe and while you wait for next week's video, check out that video on creating a beautiful channel banner if your channel needs a little bit of a facelift, cause it might, and I will see you next video. Bye.